So we're walking down to the museum down here, which is really cool. And uh, down here is where the, the Glen, Glen Ferry, yeah. or where they it was like a rope tow ferry system that they they built to get from the other side over there to this side. I think actually they the used Lewis and Clark Trail. The, it's part of the Lewis and Clark Trail. I thought it was the Oregon Trail. I don't know, whatever it is. Um, but they, uh, this was part of it here. And to, the, the three little islands to hop to get over here. And uh, this museum down here has a mm -hmm. lot of cool stuff from back in the day when they did that. And then right over there is the airport. And then there's the back side of the campground there. There's a lower section over here. Um, a little different, a lot more trees down there, but it's still nice. So we're kind of confused and we're going to investigate this, whether it's the Lewis and Clark Trail or the Oregon Trail. This is Oregon Trail, but are they connected? Are they the same? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even know this was a thing, but if you look over there, those two guys are playing frisbee golf. They have little caddies for their frisbee their equipment stuff. Didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, frisbee golf caddies like they're on a golf course or something. Huge fire pit area. Rocks to sit on. I don't know. It doesn't look like that. That fire would get very big in a small circle like that. But it's pretty cool for a big group of people. Bathrooms right over there. I don't think those have showers in it. We'll cover the the ones that they have here. Actually, I've been in them and they're real nice, so we'll get you some stuff. So check this out. Oh, we are these. These aren't graves, they're just memorials, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, we'll You know, I can't tell if this is the actual ferry or if it's the ramp. That's kind of cool though, to think that this was an operation that many years ago. I think it's the actual ferry. Oh, no. It's like, oh, see. See the shadows. Mm -hmm. I get on this side of it. Huh. Interesting. Cool. John over here is directing it and see the cable and then uh, pulling it over here which would be right here and they would get off and go on their way so here's a looks like a little 
they just want to keep big vehicles out of there. So they made a way to get for people to access. Grand Island Crossing access. So, you know, let's go in. See what's going on down here. Ow! Ow! So sharp. Whoa! The big fish jump. We're on the Oregon Trail right now. This is as big as it is. Put a dirt bike on here. into the actual day park all except for the cabins over there um, there's a big old loop so you can come down and just circle right around and we're gonna go up that trail over there so there's kind of like a little I don't know I can't tell what it is like maybe they amphitheater or something maybe they put maybe for bird watching or something maybe people put shows on there. I don't know. campground. Um, I'll do some more a little bit later once I cool off a little bit. It's getting hot. Um, and then uh, I think, yes please. And then down at the lower campground. We'll walk you through that and show you what's going on down there. So, um, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So this is a little town of, what is this? Glens Ferry. The campground. We just left the campground. We're going to go uh, on the other side of the river. Take a look at that. Uh, Oregon Trail lookout thing or Three Island Crossing. Okay, so it's a really tiny town, not really much going on here. It's kind of nice. It's kind of starting to come back to life. A couple years ago when we came here, this place there was just not much going on. Like a lot of places were closed down, and, and uh, it's probably due to the pandemic. But it's slowly starting to open back up again. We're gonna go down the road here and uh, stop at a burger place. I think it's called The Stop. <laughs> Drive-in burger place. That's the burger place right there. Doesn't look like much. We're gonna go in here and find out what kind of food they got. Stop 
drive-in. Um, your opinion? Good sandwich? Good yeah. burger? I think it was loaded. It had a lot of stuff on it. Fish and chips are good. Big. Big pieces. Uh, fries are really good. Um, I would recommend it. So if you're ever in Glens Ferry, hanging out at one of the campgrounds here or something, or the winery, definitely stop by this place. Get yourself some good grub. And the strawberry banana milkshake, perfect. So, gotta try it out. We're heading on the other side of the river now, so. Okay, so we made it <clears throat> to the lookout here for uh, Glens Ferry, Three Island Crossing. Um, we're going to walk up here to this spot up here and it's got a bunch of history stuff on it so take a look at that. Probably going to pull the drone out, winds are nice and calm uh, and we're allowed to fly here so um, this is just absolutely awesome up here look at that those are the three islands that they're talking about they hopped from one to the other to the other and then over there to the other side of the river where they come from i don't know the oregon trail pioneers knew three island crossing well it was one of the most famous river crossings on the historic trail, and the most difficult crossing in Idaho. Crossing the Snake River was always dangerous, but when the water was low enough to negotiate, everyone crossed who could, to take advantage of the more favorable northern route to Fort Boise. During high water, most emigrants were forced to travel along the south alternate route into Oregon, a dry, sandy, dusty, and hot trail that wore out man and beast. The original course of the Oregon Trail was from Independence, Missouri to Oregon City and Oregon's Willamette Valley. Most pioneers traveled the trail from 1841 through 1848. However, fur trappers and explorers used the travel corridor as early as 1811. By the mid-1860s, the trail was used little as an emigration route. The Oregon Trail entered Idaho in the southeast corner of the state. At Fort Hall, it joined the Snake River, following the south bank until Three Island Crossing was reached near Glens Ferry. The route left Idaho near the site of Old Fort Boise, near Parma, after winding through 500 miles of the state. Upon reaching the Three Island Ford, the emigrants had a difficult decision to make. Should they risk the dangerous crossing of the Snake, or endure the dry, rocky route along the south bank of the river? About half of the emigrants chose to attempt the crossing by using the gravel bars that extended across the river. Not all were successful, many casualties are recounted in pioneer diaries. The rewards of a successful crossing were a shorter route, more potable water, and better feed for the stock. The Three Island Ford was used by pioneer travelers until 1869, when Gus Glenn constructed a ferry about two miles upstream. Some travelers continued to cross at Three Island to avoid paying for the ferry. We just stopped at the, uh, what is this thing called? Southside Market. 
and it has a, a state liquor store in it, if you want to call it that. It's like basically just a tiny little closet space with a whole bunch of different alcohol. They didn't have what we actually went in there to get, but uh, we did we did substitute it with uh, a couple of other things. And uh, so now we're heading back to camp. And we get over this hill you'll be able to see RVs and stuff down there. Very nice, a lot more secluded down here, a lot more shade. But if you if you use Starlink like we do, like we thought we were gonna have a problem with all the trees around it, we found a hole in between the trees and it right where it needs to go and it seems to work pretty good. But. The trail right there goes down to uh, goes down to the river. Yeah. This, this looks like a poultry spot. I suppose you could you could rent the companion spots and have both spaces yourself. Like that guy's got a parking spot of his own. That's pretty much it for the lower section. Oh, well, there's overflow parking over here. Looks like uh, we got some overflow parking. We got a trailer or whatever. Extra cars or whatever. Park them over here. Kind of nice.